mami ye nyali ro munyoro kwa siko we nyalo munyoro oy ha wa ya ire we nyalo o mami we fu we nyalo munyoro mungo we nyalo munyoro ha ha wa ya ire we nyalo munyoro dada wa nyalo munyoro mungo we nyalo munyoro ha ha wa ya ire we nyalo munyoro death is recognized in africa through a rite of passage that prepares the spirit of the deceased to the journey on to the next realm. Today, Culture Hub TV brings you the death rituals performed by the Tachoni community. There were various ways of informing people about any death in the community, as he explains Mze Matanda Murumba, a Tachoni elder and a cultural advisor. <laughs> We had two ways of informing people about death in the community. For instance, people would just cry. The dead in the Tachoni community only stayed for a single day before being buried, depending on the time of the day they have died or even depending on age. Ne. Yali omuntu no fwa. Ne ri kisa kino. No kona ne mchuli ba khosir. Ne nali ne ne no fwire sido. When a woman had lost her husband, she was made to perform some rituals as she goes to inform her parents or relatives. Rituals were also performed for a dead elderly person in this community. Uh, particularly, Omundwe Sisiere, Nadibari Omusahulu Konire. When a woman lost her husband, she used to take her husband's walking stick and a cape that left for her parents' home to inform them of her husband's death. If it is someone who has qualified for certain rituals like Ohuisia, a horn was blown. One was to climb on the roof of a house before blowing the horn. It's either a grandson or the brother to the deceased that was allowed to blow the horn. And for you to blow the horn, you must have attained a certain age. Either you have grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and you have planted a fig tree in your home. The Tachoni bury their dead by wrapping the body in a fresh cow skin before being interred in a ritual conducted without women and children. The head of a bull is placed above the main entrance in accordance with the Tachoni burial customs. A branch of a palm tree is then placed in the dead person's hand as he is buried. <laughs> After digging the grave, they look for some grass and some logs which are placed inside the grave. The logs are placed on the surface, where is grass on top of them. A skin is then spread on the grass, then the body is laid there before covering it with another skin. This is to prevent the dead body from being covered with the soil. After that, they now bring a paltry branch which is placed in the hand of the dead person before they start filling the grave with soil. 
mmakhono bambi o lukhendu uno mmakhono ba sikhoba tjako gola gore as they continue filling the grave with soil, a person slowly pulls the palm tree to avoid it being completely covered with the soil. The palm tree is then left on the grave. Someone who is buried in an animal skin is one who has planted a fig tree. The person must also have been a horn blower. When a Tachoni dies, they only spend one day in the house before being buried. Cows are gathered to mourn their master in a ceremonious way. People sing and dance on the grave. But Huisia cannot be performed on someone if his elder brother is still alive. Afterwards, cows are invited to mourn the deceased by dancing on the grave to different tunes. This is called Ohuisia. Ohuisia is only done on elderly Tachoni people who have planted a fig tree in their compound. Without this tree, one is not eligible to Ohuisia. <laughs> The cows dance around the grave without stepping on the pantry. After singing and dancing, a goat is then slaughtered. On the third day after burial, a special ceremony called Olufo is held. In this ceremony, Many rituals are performed, including sharing the clothes of the deceased and approaching a special stick on a grass thatch house called Olusuli. On the third day, the person that placed the pantry in the hands of the dead is again approached to pull out the olusuli. If the person wasn't available, then a grandson would climb on top of the house to remove the olusuli. A special chosen person is then invited to talk to the family, to unite them, and preach peace to them. This process is called Ohusena Omuse. In many African societies, after the body is buried, the family will have a second, more elaborate funeral. This second funeral takes place some 40 days after the first burial. In the Tachoni community, this funeral was done after 21 days. Wamara 
After 21 days, the palm tree is now uprooted and is taken far away in the forest. This now marks the end of the second funeral. They then await for the final ceremony of demolishing the house of the deceased. The ceremony is called Ohuhala Yemikoi and is usually performed few years after the burial. Remember to subscribe and comment after watching. Thank you for making us your number one online TV station. Oh!